Longbows were powerful weapons, but keeping archers supplied with ammunition was a major undertaking. This is a modern arrow. Small and lightweight. Pretty much what everyone shoots these days. Compared to this medieval war arrow. Look at the size of this thing. It's a beast. A medieval army might need more than a million war arrows on campaign, and each one had to be made by hand. It was a labor-intensive business, and the person who did it was called a Fletcher. First, a log is split into square staves. Then the Fletcher uses a plane to start roughing out the shape. Ugh, how do I get it round? Not only have you got to make it round, you've got to make it bobtailed. Look at that. You see that's coming down thinner down that end. There's a natural taper coming down there to that end. A plane with a curved blade is used to create the taper. This makes the arrow aerodynamic. This is an incredibly painstaking process for one arrow. Most of them are just for one shot as well. Next, a slot is cut to receive a piece of horn. The horn reinforces the knock. That's the notch that fits the arrow to the bowstring. Without the horn insert, the power of a heavy war bow could split and shatter an arrow. Once the horn is in place, the knock is sawn and shaped. Then the Fletcher has to attach the feathers to the shaft. Now what you've got to do is you've got to get rid of the stiffness of the quill. You're going to work it down so it's nice and thin. So this is dogfish skin? Yeah, medieval sandpaper. The feathers are glued in place and then secured with thread. The final process is to arm the arrow with its arrowhead. The person who makes these is called an arrowsmith. From a blank piece of iron, he starts with the part that fits over the arrow shaft. First, he makes the bar flat then uses a special former to create a socket. The final stage is to hammer out the shape of the head. Arrow stocks had to be prepared far in advance of a campaign. It was impossible to make them in sufficient numbers overnight. A medieval war arrow like this could only be shot from a big, exceptionally powerful bow. And it packed a mighty punch.